In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to track your DeFi portfolio. And there's tons of different ways to do this. And there's so many different services, but we're only going to cover a couple of them. So the two that I'm going to focus on are going to be Zerion and Zapperfy. So these are both browser based ones. You automatically connect it to MetaMask and it will just search the blockchain and tell you all your transactions and all that stuff automatically. It's really easy. And then I'll show you another one that's more privacy focused because there are privacy concerns with Zerion and Zapperfy. And then I'll talk about some different options. So let's get started. So we are at DuckDuckGo. We're going to go to Zerion.io. And then we need to connect our wallet. So we're going to connect MetaMask as it does. Connect MetaMask. There we go. And we're connected. We can see that my wallet is connected here and it is loading an overview, which should be pretty quick. And you can see since I already did the bridges to Binance Smart Chain and Polygon, and then I actually bridged Polygon again, which is why I have assets there. You can see that the portfolio has gone down. A lot of this dip has also been for me paying crazy transaction fees for all those bridges. So we can see that I have 276 in Ethereum and I've got 442 in Polygon, 64 cents in Binance Smart Chain. So that is all looks pretty good. If we look at the left side, we can see the transaction history, which we don't need to look at. We can click invest. And this gives us a lot of different options on things to invest in. So we can look at the different uh, DeFi indexes or the DeFi blue chips, which wrapped Bitcoin isn't really DeFi because it's centralized, but I digress. NFT. So there's a lot of different things that you can check out there. If you want to take a look at the top gainers and losers, feel free. I would generally, personally, I think it's not a good idea to invest in anything that's a top gainer or a top loser because this is all just a bunch of garbage from what it looks like. Yeah, so I wouldn't touch anything in there. You have your markets there. You have liquidity pools there. So that all looks pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can send tokens through here. You could also do it directly through MetaMask. Let's exit out of that. You have NFTs. I don't have any NFTs in this wallet. I don't have anything favorited. So there's a lot of different things you can do here. You have a simple swap feature like you would see in Uniswap or, or QuickSwap or things like that. Liquidity pools, you could provide to liquidity pools if you want to. All that stuff. That is complete nonsense right there. The REL ETH pool. I'm not even going to look at that. Yeah, so you have a lot of different settings in Zerion. It's a, it's a really convenient way to do it. You saw how quickly... It connected and everything. I did mention privacy concerns here. Uh, this is a free service. So in generally speaking, if it's a free service, that means that they are selling your data. I don't know if Zerion's doing that. I would be really skeptical with my personal funds, but that's just me. So we can either disconnect our wallet there if we wanted to. You can also name it if you wanted to. So this is the mainnet tutorials. It's the same name I have for it in MetaMask. So that's really convenient look at it there main net tutorial so that's great now you can either disconnect your wallet from here if you wanted to or we could do it in metamask just by clicking it on here this shows all of the wallets that are currently connected to it so let's disconnect this account as you can see it still is showing my wallet which is showing me that it is not only just connected it's also remembering my wallet which means that my data is being saved somewhere which i am not a fan of so we're going to disconnect that let's take a look at zapperfy Let's connect our wallet, MetaMask, pops this up. We're going to connect it to mainnet tutorial again. And there we go. Same kind of thing popping up here. We can see the different networks that I've used here. So Polygon, Ethereum, BSC, that all looks good. It's very similar to what we saw with Zerion, only there's not as many different options. It shows that it's on Avalanche and Phantom, as well as the other three that we already did. Swap feature, all that stuff. We can connect with liquidity pools if we wanted to. There's a saving option here, which is just depositing your, your assets into either Compound or Aave, as you can see from the logos. So there's that option. We have our address book. This is the only wallet that we have connected, so it doesn't pop up any others, but it, it could. So that is Zapperfy. And I do also, let's actually, before I forget, let's disconnect from it. And I disconnected from it in MetaMask because then I know that it is actually being disconnected. But again, we see that my wallet is still saved here unless I exit here. So I'm skeptical of all that. I don't like my data being saved and all that. So the next one I want to show you is RoadKey. Now, I'm not actually going to do a tutorial on RoadKey because this is a program that is on your computer. So it's not browser based. Everything is stored locally on your computer. So you can see it's a local app. That is really good. It's open source, which is excellent. Although if you do use the 
the premium version it's not only saved locally it's also saved so that you could restore it onto different devices so that's kind of convenient there amadeo was the one that showed this one to me so feel free to check it out it is awesome to support open source projects so i am going to be looking into this in the future and maybe i'll do a tutorial on my youtube channel so make sure you're subscribed to check that out in the future uh, and with that said i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one